the word of God said, my grace is sufficient for you. Which other thing do you need apart from God's grace? What other thing do you think that can save you apart from God's grace? When you don't want to accept the grace that God has given to you, you are going to struggle and fight for some steady things. But when you trust God and accept the grace that God has given to you, and walk according to the word of God over your life, to the plans of God over your life, because he said the thought of God for you is of good and not of evil. When you allow God to make it work in your life, when you allow the Holy Spirit to keep on taking direction, directing you in your life, there are some certain things you don't need to fight yourself or struggle for for yourself. But when you don't trust God enough, that is when you are going to start going elsewhere, seeking for power elsewhere. And only God can save you. You can still run back if you are confused, doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that. Instead of you to trust in God. But because you have been waiting, because what you have been waiting for has not yet manifested, you start putting your hands in so some certain things. And because of that, you invite what you are not supposed to invite to your home, to your life. You start seeing things going other way in your life. You no longer feel the presence of God. You no longer feel peace in your home. Child of God, you can still take back your stuff. Take it back and say, God, just like the prodigal son, Turn back and say, God, have mercy. I thought that there was a way this way. I take a wrong way. Have mercy. And come back. God is still there. You are the only one that's left. He said, your sin has separated you from God. Your sin has separated you. God was not separated. You were the one that was separated. By going and be trying other things. But you can still bring back yourself. The way you take yourself back. You unplug yourself. Connect yourself back. God bless you. I pray anything that's held you back today is leaving you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shalom.